Welcome back to the Theme Park Wizard. I'm here at Downtown Disney to check out the Halloween merchandise and the construction uh, here in Downtown Disney. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Entering the world of Disney on this busy Friday evening. We have some generic merchandise here, but there's been some Halloween merchandise in the middle. So let's go check that out right now. All right, so right in the middle of the store is Happy Halloween. Behind me is the Avengers. So let's go ahead and see what's going on in this cool Halloween themed section. So we have this new spirit jersey. Look, look at this. I love these nicely themed pumpkins. Cool pumpkins right over here. This is probably around now. About $80. Typical spare jersey. Here's the front. The nice Disneyland Resort logo here. It's really nice, actually. I have some cool blankets. Like, what is this? Hold on. This is an interesting looking blanket. I think this is a flower. Um, but it's very soft. Whatever it is. Oh, it's uh, Dia de los Muertos from Coco. It's like a flower, but it's very, very soft. I love it. Over there, they have some and content mer merchandise and costumes dressed up as Maribel. Um, have a cool sign that says Horrors, Haunts, and Hayrides. But they have lounge fly bags with um, uh, Luisa on there. And can even dress up as Bruno. Bruno, but you know, if so, then people can't talk about you. They even have a whole bunch of nice um, candy. Looks like these candy bars with pretzels on top of them, as well as these trick or treat buckets here. And these, are, they, are these towels? What is, oh yeah, these are kitchen towels. And here, and these cool little decorations. With Mickey and me all dressed up with a, with a haunted castle. Witch, witch castle there. This almost looks like these bowls you can just put in candy and grab the candy out of. And here's more bowls. And some even cool hats with Mickey ears as well. <laughs> they have this really great pillow um, here for Halloween like this is very comfortable uh, very soft and they even have these nice blankets here if you're watching a movie you can take this in the Toontown and sit on the grass and eat um, but yeah these are some really nice pillows um, looks like even bigger ones over there and they have the Haunted Mansion Holiday or Nightmare Before Christmas music playing and I absolutely love it can't wait for Haunted Mansion Holiday starting September 1st Haunted Mansion will be closing in just a few weeks or a couple of weeks here for that installation. <laughs> Moving on to the t-shirt section, um, they have some cool just generic t-shirts with some very nice designs here. I mean, look at that. This one in particular is the cool, the evil pumpkin looking at evil Goofy over there. Looks like um, these guys are scaring the Fab Five. And some nice uh, kids clothing right there as well. And even the same design for children. Over in the plus section, they have um, Mickey plushes all dressed up um, down here. And they have some different types of um, sweatshirts and long sleeve clothing. Here's Stitch, the cute little Stitch, is all dressed up in Halloween clothing. As well as these cute Halloween, these like jack lanterns or something. I don't know what this deal is, but they also have, of course, the ears. Um, for the Halloween season and these nice Halloween very simple Halloween themed shirts which is actually the same logo that I have on right now but just Halloween themed see same thing oh we have some um, what is this red apple cider drink mix right here so apple cider drink mix here some more candy down this aisle and this another cool it's not a spirit jersey, but a long sleeve shirt or a sweatshirt, I believe, with Goofy over there. And it's double sided. Oh, that's that's really cool. Moving over here, we have some more Halloween lounge fly bags. Well, Halloween bubble wands. Oh, this is cute. My girlfriend would love these bubble wands. She absolutely loves bubbles, as you know from the previous videos. Um, and look at Captain Mickey up there. Mickey all dressed up right there. And of course, these light up great uh, earth. A lot of bands or bracelets here, necklaces you can wear during the nighttime as you trick or treat and in the parks. And we're moving on to get these cool looking Crocs here. I mean, look at this, it's nice Halloween themed Crocs and more headband or ears. 
for boys and this one's like kind of unisex. I feel like boys and girls can wear this one. It's geared towards everybody. Hello. We got the construction prog progress for the new Paseo and Centrico restaurants. Um, not too much has changed here. Then they got rid of the entire middle segment there. That is all dirt behind those walls, and they completely gutted the second story over there. I think they they actually combined that. They're combining the second story to make it one massive dining area up there, which would be quite nice. I am not sure when this is supposed to open. Potentially next year in 2024. But um, yeah. So this would be cool to have a nice new Mexican restaurant and then I guess Tortilla Joe's will be demolished when this opens up because these two are both owned by the Patina Group. Um, so it obviously wouldn't have make sense to have two Mexican restaurants right next to each other. So yeah, the Tortilla Joe's is safe for now, but will be disappearing when these lovely guys open up. And it'll be nice to have a nice new comp concept here. Love Pop in the other store, I think Pele Soccer, is still open. Sprinkles had to be demolished because I think that's where it could be the access point to get upstairs to this new uh, above uh, uh, second story area here the new jazz kitchen is open um certainly looks like a generic store but it's fine i, I, I hear the food's still pretty good so um yeah it's, it's open that and benny's express are open for your enjoyment looks like the monorail is under refurbishment and it's be open on september 1st but the whole station's under scaffolding or a tarp getting some probably some paint job and some maintenance done. So that's nice to see um, them working on the station while also working on downtown Disney. This is part of the reason why it's closed for as long so they can get some of these buildings up here. But yeah, nice to see them also working on the station. When you at downtown Disney, you can see the bandstand and the Din Tai Fung are up and ready to go, or are rising. And these stores over here, this will be Earl of Sandwich and some others, are rapidly rising well. This is gonna be open by Thanksgiving. 2024, so it'll be nice to have this expansion into downtown Disney. Here's a close look at the future Din Tai Fung building. You can kind of see those little curves starting to form on where the area is supposed to be. And right here in ESPN Zone, they're doing some walkway work, some pavement work, so it's a little bit tight in between the security entrance to downtown Disney on this by Disneyland Hotel because of the construction here and the construction over here. This should be wrapping up though in a few weeks or less. Here is the Mickey hat. So this hat's still under refurbishment. You can still get into downtown Disney or the Disneyland Hotel by just going up and around that way. But yeah, this has been under refurbishment for refurbishment for a few weeks now, and I expect it to be hopefully done by Halloween, but it's not too much of an inconvenience. Um, and it'll probably look beautiful when it's done. Yeah. The new DVC tower is just about ready to open. It opens September 28th, 2023 officially and looks absolutely gorgeous. I may give you a room tour because I think a friend of mine has a room in there and I might be here for Oogie Boogie Bash and going in that room so I can't wait to go check it out definitely looks much different though than the rest of the hotel towers I wonder if these will eventually get demolished and replaced with this type of style well yeah it was nice to see all the construction progress at downtown Disney and check out the cool Halloween merch down here in the world of Disney this is just the start of it again it's only August like 4th right now at the time of this recording so lots more will come over the next few weeks especially by september 1st they'll be out here in full force so what do you think of this initial halloween offering let me know in the comments below subscribe more theme park updates and more merch searches and see you i'll be back here on halloween officially starts at disneyland to check all that out the ride overlays and the merch and decorations and everything if you like this video press that thumbs up subscribe subscribe for more theme park updates and have a fantastic day